MB01 2020, Friday the 10th of January 2020, 0655, just around the corner from the Ibis, over there to the left, is the Knights Templar, where we shall have coffee. Here's the plan, there, then commercial rooms, then Tesco's, then drop the stuff back off the Ibis, then more beer, then the barley mow, then fall over. That's it, bye. And the commercial rooms. Oh, not bad. Anyway, there is a sale. Curry's included. And my beer. Oh, face ID. Mr. Makai Ato. Um, great Western Brewing, 6%, hence the half. Um, brewed with decaf coffee. That scores highly on the unusual front. Carpet for Mr. Martin. Hmm. Okay, it is a bit cold. And I've got a bit of a big chunk of lemon in there, which I sort of ate. Right, and I say sort of that. I ate. Hmm. Okay, so there's a nice sort of coffee in there. It's sort of a chocolatey, gently bitter finish. I'm going to say B plus in a bit. 3.2. It is cold though. We'll see. Actually, come back in a little while. This is where it gets complex. On the pump clip it says Hop Union IPA. Untapped. And the Great Western it says Union Hop IPA. Same beer, 5% alcohol by volume keg. It's warmed up a bit since I've been looking for it. Mmm. Cookie, juicy, tingly. That's a B plus plus, and it will be over B plus plus by the time it warms up. I say hats off. I like this pub. Um, I keep on calling me young man, which I am anything but. However, he says as he forgets the beer, this is Saved by the Bell. Oh, I'll show my age here. The spot growing 3.8% alcohol by volume. Timing, if I make this last about an hour, which I probably will, and I'll wander off to more beer. So we don't rush these things. Also listening to No Agenda Show. Malty. Malt forward, I'd say. Hint of bitterness. And the malty. Slightly biscuity finish. B plus and a bit. 3 point. 3.1. I think. Yeah, I think. A minute away. Or be a coal. Or be a coal. And definitely more beer cold. I think the thing is a bit more beer. Trying to be ahead of the curve. That's not coming. Yeah, it's not that. I was here first. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were here first. And I'll just stay in the corner. Oh, I forgot what I'm drinking. Come on. Face ID. Mm, not face ID. Ah, get IPA. 9% alcohol by volume. Red IPA. Nice glass. Ah, you! Nice t shirt. No, uh, no, please. Um, do you know what my path is? Mmm. That's hoppy. That's refreshing. You taste the rye. The alcohol is very well hidden. I'm going to say B++ because it is. Two things. It's a collab. Beerific Colombrite. And on the back it says it's an awesome product of England. I think it is. 4.7% alcohol by volume. United we can from the more beer co and aforementioned. Nice head. Unfiltered and pasteurized and everything. 
Okay, then we'll show casting European ingredients and t shirts. I'm thinking of a red one. I could be tempted. Mmm. Nice aroma. Must get better than the red nose. Mmm. Malty, hoppy, well balanced, refreshing. <coughs> he says coughing. B plus in a bit, 3.4. Espana hop. British malt, Spanish hops. And it's can condition, 4.1% alcohol by volume. Just going to see if it says which. Uh, I'll say later, uh, can't be on. Anyway, 4.1, I'll crisps. Uh, I'll pass the t-shirt for me. Ooh, smells good. Hmm. Orangey, lemony, fruity, slightly sharp. B plus in a bit, but 3.4. I haven't worked out the crisps yet, which are you from the sun. It's very spring-like. Fancy burger. Timing. I beat the lunchtime rush. Okay, so. New Bristol Brewery, which is looking a bit shaky for tomorrow because they're closed. This is Wonderland. Wonderland. Session New England IPA, 4.1% alcohol by volume. Fuck off for that. Otherwise, I'm going to fall over. Green wooden flooring, Mr. Manning. Oh, fruity, juicy, into spicy peppiness. But very sessionable. A. As the sun is beginning to go down, trust me, real wooden flooring, Mr. Manning. Anyway, I'm on the house. This is Push Kingdom with a K, 5% alcohol by volume, and fine and hazy from the Tapstone Brewing Company. Funky Fresh IPA. Kind of looks that way. Spicy, <laughs> 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 B plus plus. Yeah. 